What's up, fam? I'm JB Black CEO, and welcome to Barbershop Talk TV out here in America. Excuse uh, the mic there from minutes ago. Man, do you see the title? Bruh, I do not want to be no damn P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, or, or P. Raddy, or Daddy, whatever, right about now. You know, it's crazy. I've been following uh, Safe Fenson's uh, 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 P. Diddy's bodyguard, Gene Deal. So if you ain't checked out Gene Deal, Gene Deal been on this guy for a minute, for like the last four to five years. Gene Deal, and uh, he got some good insights. Uh, or even he was there when Safe Fenson's Biggie passed away. Uh, round, I think round when Tupac was around. Oh, you know, he got a lot of history of being with Diddy. His name is Gene Deal. Go check the brother out. And it's crazy. I'm starting to believe him, you know, to a degree. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I'm from North Carolina. I'm just trying to see what the hell is going on. It don't look good for Diddy, though. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to match. It's starting to match up, just like hearsay from what the brother Gene Deal said. Gene Deal said, "Yo, man, that really did happen with Cassidy and many other uh, sisters out here. You know, with that rock and roll lifestyle that Bad Boy Records have." But listen, if you're new here. The Barbershop Talk TV. Make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit the notification button. So when I do go live, you'll get the notification. I'm going to bring you the truth off damn gate. Feel free to like, light up a black and mild here at uh, Barbershop Talk TV. P. Diddy, as we see yesterday, what is today? Today is again uh, Wednesday, November 29th. From my understanding, this guy lost an endorsement with Revolt. Oh, damn. Bro, come on, that's the bread out here, the achievements. It's it, it's crazy how things in your past can come back and just rip all your damn bread down. But we're going to read this article right here. You know, it's online. Uh, YouTube is talking about it. And I think it's sad, though. You know, I wouldn't have seen Bad Boy when he came to my city when Biggie was alive, Junior Mafia and everybody. Diddy was young. They had the sweatshirts on, no shiny suits, hat to the back out there representing and actually they came through our process so you know what i'm saying they came down through the hood them and wu-tang clan so i salute them for that out here though but let's read this right here sean Combs step uh steps back from revolt media amid sexual uh lawsuits this guy finna have lawsuits coming out of the behind ever since he settled with the young lady cassidy next thing you know three more uh, lawsuits popped up oh him aaron hall uh did this to me did that's that 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 and it's crazy where I got to sit back and see what the hell is going on. Somebody know more than I do. But right now, Revolt Media, um, you know what I'm saying? Sean did it. Step back or either they told him to get the hell up out of it. Them ladies don't want around it. Let's read this real quick. But then we get up out of here in America, though. Uh, this is dead, what's his deadline um, uh, website. You know, plenty of websites. Just Google it and it's going to come up about this guy with Revolt. Okay, Sean Diddy comes is stepping back as chairman of his company, Revolt Media, in the midst of multiple sexual assault uh, lawsuits. A rep confirmed there is no statement today, but last what's that? Last week, his representative called claims fabricated falsely alleging misconduct for over thirty years and filed uh, at the last minute. This is nothing but a money grab because of Mr. Cone's famous success. He's an easy target for anonymous accusers who lie without conscience and consequences for financial benefit. The New York legislature uh, surely did not intend to expect the Adult Survivor Act to exploit, uh, be exploited by scammers. That, that New York Survivors Act, I don't know who put that in place, but they set it off with that out here in America. The public should not be skeptical and rush to these bogus allegations, though. Well, Diddy is selling. He is stepping down. I get it. That's a hell of a name to have uh, on you. You know what I'm saying? Out here in America. Let's keep going. Reference is the New York Adult Survivors Act. Survivors Act. That act is hell, boy. That act just woke up something from the 90s with Diddy, bro. I mean, I don't know who got together with that legislator up there, one of these ladies or somebody, but they brought the damn flame on them, okay? The New York Adults Survivors Act, which provides one year window for sexual assault claims to file civil claims regarding of the uh, statute of limitation. The window closed November 23rd. The suits against Combe alone with recent suits against Jamie Foxx, Axel Rose, Cooper Gooder Jr. Others were filed under the act last week. Bruh, Jamie Foxx, uh, the rock band guy, Axel Rose. I was trying to make sure I said that guy name, right? Model coming back saying Axel Rose did some tour. Kobe Gooden, Gooden Jr. and others were filed under the act last week. So whoever these people is, they knew about that act and they got 
uh, a hundred. They made sure they got a bunny early this month. The rapper, for, uh, longtime girlfriend Cassandra Ventura, aka Cassidy, sued Cone over accusations of uh, the R word and intense physical psychological abuse. Okay, let me let me let me see my go on down a little bit. But anyway, that's the Cassidy situation. At the end of the day, quit. I mean, Diddy can step down from revolt. Damn, bro. You know, I hey, that's some that's some damn money that this guy getting up. But you do the time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you do the crime. You got to, you know, pay. Hey, you got to pay for it. So I don't know, but I'm going to sit back. And like I say, check out Jane Deal, uh, Diddy's uh, bodyguard from the early 90s. I'm going to say 80s or whatever. This guy got a lot of info, you know, interesting, uh, you know what I'm saying? Interesting uh, discussions when it come to what he saw and what happened back with Bad Boy back in the day, though. You know, some people might say the guy snitching. He had ever, I, I I couldn't believe the stuff that I heard that brother Jane Deal was saying, you know, long time ago, I was like, damn, did he going to see this guy? He going to run up on this guy. It never happened. And uh, Jane Deal could been on plenty of uh, safe fences, uh, platforms around here in America and taking Diddy balls. Like, like, I mean, he, they check him out for yourself. Jane Deal, a uh, former bodyguard of P Diddy. But listen, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. You new here? Make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button. So when I do go live, drop a video, you get the notification. I'm gonna bring you the truth off gate. This is a warm up over here, at Black CEO Media, because we're gonna follow this Diddy situation. And boy, you know, here, Mega Star, seeing what's coming out, is it interesting? Hell yeah, it's interesting. And it's also a shame, and uh, you know what I'm saying, on another angle there. You know, I ain't wishing for nobody downfall, but this is something to see, and it's crazy. And you know, so. Other than that, I'm going to get the hell up out of here. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Uh, P. Diddy steps down from revolt or either they told him to step down because the lawsuits is coming. I'm out.